this is Whiskey Happens. I'm Geronimo. That's Tito. <laughs> and Abednego. <laughs> Uh, no, oh, um, no sober. back with another episode. Brad Booth is in the building, uh, yeah. in um, the house. Another visit. And every uh, time Brad comes, we decide we're going to just drink things that come from other countries. Yes. I think this is, yeah. right. this is uh, today's, um, I brought back this penny packer here. Uh, it is in a sour mash bourbon of some kind. Um, it's got the tax stamp on there, uh, with some, the tie import sticker on the back. Uh, basically, I was there last month, and I go into stores randomly and take pictures of bourbon. And I took a picture of the Russell's Reserve for, uh, tenure uh, and sent it to Travis. And said, "Hey, I see this here. Do you want, do you want me to bring it home? Because it's hard to find." He laughed at me and said, "No, you idiot! But what bottle is sitting next to it? Because I've never seen this bottle before." And I was like, oh, well, I can bring this this home for you. It's a cool find, obviously, with the tax stamp and stuff like that on there. Yeah. Um, you guys know a little bit more about where it's from. I see that it was it's imported by Germany and makes it ways to Thailand. But what happens before it gets to Germany? Well, it's interesting. So I did a little research on it when he sent it to me because I was like, well, I've never seen that. Let me see. Like if I found a very hard bottle to find where it comes from, but did find it is a Heaven Hill product. So it is produced at Heaven Hill, but, uh, sent, bottled somewhere else, then shipped overseas. Hmm. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's crack it open. Yeah. Me? Sure. Yeah, sure one. It's a little 80 proofer. So, uh, yeah, well, I wanna, yeah, 80 this, proof. So as Garrett likes to say, this is something you can drink all day while cutting the lawn and, you know, not feel so bad having to go to the kids' T-ball game. There we go. Whoa. I don't know about T-ball, but I'll accept the rest. I think that uh, when it comes to drinking and watching children, you should always drink 80 proof. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with 80 proof. There's nothing wrong with 90 proof. No, I think I like them all. 80 proof is like the, the starting bourbon level across seas. This yes. is was imported to Thailand by way of Germany. Um, right. We can't really see the tax stamp, but no. that's what that was. Yeah. Thai, uh, I have no clue what that says. It probably says some alcohol will kill you. I'm, I'm guessing. Okay. Um, I mean, like uh, the way that they advertise for alcohol is completely different over there. Um, basically, I, I didn't realize until somebody pointed out that there was no advertisement over there for alcohol. Uh, tobacco or anything like pop, you know, like giant billboards, right? Yeah. yeah. That we would see. And I was like, oh shit, that, you're right. But what they do is, is um, there's a beer there called Chang basically, but then also Chang then makes water. And so they basically was a water advertisement. Oh, drink Chang water. Well, well, but all the time. But everyone, yeah, okay. everybody <laughs> knows that it, that it's the beer, the beer, yeah. Chang beer. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant. But then I, as I started looking around, all this different advertisement does the same thing. It's, it's so they just oh drink our water or drink this, but really it's a alcohol or tobacco product that yeah it's just like the yeah. massages. I understand completely. <laughs> well, I will say this. So the this is earthy as shit. Well, yeah, I get a little yeah, mint. Very, I get very, green apple, very weird but juice. then at, at the same time, the funny thing is, is so this is undisclosed mash bill um, that you they didn't disclose the mash bill, so we know it's. Young, probably young a lot more corn it's three years age that did find that so at least three years but it's just I, um, it's not terrible off the nose it's not it's not I've, i i it's just hope i don't like this jesus i think it's going to be probably on the sweeter side but yeah. let's find out right. you know what this reminds me of uh evan williams Black label. Mm -hmm. That's not. It's not terrible. It's not much there. It's just not. There's yeah. There's not a whole lot going on. But we did just have some. Mm -hmm. No, I mean it's just not much going on. Like I mean for me, it's clean. It's easy to drink. Yeah. Um, I definitely think this is for someone who's not a huge bourbon fan but wants to start trying bourbon. This is an easy one for anyone. Sure. Think, like I mean, that. would you put it in a coke? This. I'm going to, I don't know off him. I'm going to say no. Um, I think that this rivals a fair amount of complexity. There's some oakiness, even though it's only three years old, yeah. as well as, um, I hate to say spruce pine note, 
because that turns a lot of people off. But it works in the the all right, the paradigm of 80 proofers being this easy drinking thing mm-hmm. that everyone's fine with. Not always the same. Right. This is an 80 proofer that's like, hey, I want to know more about bourbon mm-hmm. and I enjoy mild complexity. Yeah. Like I think that if I would love to try this against Evan Williams Black Label. Um, but I think that if you gave this to the average drinker and they've been drinking Evan Williams all their life, let's say, and they went to Thailand, they're gonna be fine with that. Yeah, I think I think if you were in a penny pinch, oh, you could there it is. You I could like it. you could drink this. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I no. mean, I would drink this um if I was somewhere and I wanted to drink something. I mean, this isn't bad. It's not it definitely doesn't have a turn off like where it's like I drank it and was like, mm, God, no. Right. But what I do wonder is at the price point and everything, I wonder if, like, I wonder if you get a headache drinking this after a while. Because oh, it's. You, I get, get a headache doing anything. I mean, you, I think because I could drink so much, but I'm guessing. It's like. <laughs> it does I, have a bit of a white pepper finish that I'm not a fan of. Uh, not not a fan of, but it's definitely lingering longer than I want it to. Mm-hmm. That's what I'll say. If, if, intro bourbon has i mean is that what this you can classify that you somebody is is that what you're saying when you, you would give this to somebody that's is that what you mean like i think it just depends on what if someone told us what their flavor profile was like and they didn't really like bourbon and they're but they want to try some bourbon this would be something i'd put up with other ones mm-hmm. i wouldn't just give them this because for me i think still even if you're not into bourbon that much i still think a rich bourbon is better Right. Like, in my opinion, I think a richer, deeper, full bourbon is something better to give someone who doesn't like bourbon, in my opinion, because it still has more flavor. To me, this just doesn't have much flavor to it. And so it's kind of expected. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I think it has a great complexity here. I like it has rich flavor. There's a undercut of nuttiness that's going on here. I, I'm really shocked that we're this I, far apart on this. That's, I mean, it's it's a it's a, a great split. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I, am I going to throw this out off camera? No, no. I, I mean, it's it's it's. it's, it's <laughs> I've, I've been drinking this. Like, yeah, me I, too. Now I will say this because I keep saying how much it reminds me of Williams. I am a white label fan, so there mm. could be a bias there. But uh, we just recently, all three of us went to Evan Williams, right? Yeah. And we all yes. like yeah. we all like the black label the best. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Outside of the one that was from Japan that was 150 bucks. Right. We loved that, but for the price point, yeah. it didn't. It wasn't that much better than the black label that we all tried. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was just thinking about how the Blantons was a red label, and Williams is a red label for the Japanese market. Well, I mean, that's I did, you know what? I, that's a good one. I yeah. Like that. Anyway, yeah. well, there you have it. It was picked up because of the nice tax stamp uh, and it being a nice international bottle for your collection. Yes. Um, uh, I'm going to go. It goes well just because of the red, white, and blue. That's it. Like if this doesn't say 4th of July, I don't know what does. The Americana on there, yes, uh, is good. It makes makes for another good bottle with the Americana, of course. Yeah, I agree. So that'll do it for us tonight. Whether you like it neat, on the rocks, or in a Coke, whiskey happens. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.